Hello. Hello. I cannot believe it. We've come all this way to this beautiful spot on the Eastbourne Seafront to listen to, what are we listening to? What's it called? Once and Once. Future Past Live something? Yeah, the latest 60th anniversary big finish. And guess what? <laughs> He's forgot the splitter. So we're going to go home and listen and then do our instant reaction. <gasps> Can't wait. Got to walk home first. Hello. Hello. And this is... What was it? Finish quick? Instant finish. <laughs> finish quick. Oh. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, oh. oh, I'm Mark. And I'm Doom. Oh, and in 24 up. hours... Oh, I'm gonna die. Oh, no, sorry. That's, no, the, that's wrong. the wrong yeah, one. Wrong that's one. the wrong sorry. one. That's the wrong 60th anniversary special. So, this is our, what was it again? Instant, Instant quick. Instant finish. Instant finish for the first instalment of Once and mm. Future. The big finish 60th anniversary extravaganza. Yeah. And this first one's called Past Lives. That's right. By Robert Valentine. Yes. My very dear friend, and he's very handsome. <laughs> <laughs> so we've literally just listened yeah literally just listened although we did try you see we did try and listen down the beach but that didn't work yeah uh, so there will be spoilers in this yeah this sorry guys review. switch off now uh, but we're just going to give our, our, our thoughts so this stars Tom Baker Sadie Miller uh, who plays Leth who plays Kate Lethbridge Stewart again Gemma Redgrave Gemma Redgrave <laughs> I'm and, not surprised you can't remember <laughs> and Rufus Hound um, mm. So, I mean, we haven't even talked about this. We no. literally just press stop. You should give them this little Doc Ho Ho reviews exclusive button. No, I'm saving it all for the camera. Can I just give you my initial thought for that? So, like, the Doctor's degenerating. Mm. So, we start off obviously with a, a bit of a time war little intro sort of framing device for mm. this whole thing. Uh, so, it's supposedly the Eighth Doctor, but we don't hear him. And you quickly get a brief flash of all the. All the doctors, as he you don't know, it's the eighth doctor. Well, it's time. Well, well, because we just know it's the future. So, big finish have this 60th anniversary, great, amazing mm. thing. He's got all the suppose probably all the living doctors or whoever they've got, all their doctors are involved in this, but they're keeping but, a lid on it. But don't you think it's unlike, funny? Unlike big finish, but, they're keeping a lid on it, so we don't know who's going to be in these, but all of these. And do you know what we first hear of the Doctor in this very first episode? The first words of the Doctor in this whole amazing extravaganza is Sylvester McCoy going, Ah! ah! Ace! <laughs> what, a, what a way to start it off <laughs> out of the first thing we if hear. If Big Finish was going to celebrate <laughs> 60 years of Doctor Who their own unique way, having Sylvester McCoy screaming is perfect. That, that is how it all starts off. So that, But then we get straight into the story with mm. Tom Baker yeah. and the monk, mm. played by Rufus Hound. Have you heard his portrayal in any Big Finish? I before? have, actually. I heard him in the Fifth Doctor one with Stephen and Vicky. Right. And I heard him in the one with Sylvester McCoy. And do you know what? I've never really been that keen, but I really liked him in this. I and thought... Do you know what I thought was unique about this? Hmm. I thought this was less of a Doctor Who adventure. It was more like the monk adventure. Yeah. Because we're basically following his story and the Doctor just turning up and dogging his footsteps at every step. <laughs> it's really funny. I thought he was quite cartoony in this actually this is the most over yeah, the top I've heard in no more I cartoon no I'm not more sure more cartoon I thought honestly the bit where they dashed in you got um, Kate Lethbridge Stewart Osgood Sarah Jane and the Doctor dashing in to save him and he goes well if this is your escape attempt I'm not impressed <laughs> <You know? laughs> I thought it was really funny okay this. I thought it was a little bit over the top but um, has he been a bit more vicious in the past then I don't know I've not heard a lot of him though actually I think I've heard him narrating some short trips so maybe that's a little bit different oh, but he's okay. been I just felt he was very over the top I, actually that was my favourite thing about this really? was both his characterisation and his performance yeah okay speaking of which what about Kate Lethbridge Stewart in this oh god the walking so yawn herself traditionally you haven't been a fan in the, no, the she's unit series boring. Of and I'm sorry I... Rob she's still boring and do you know why because honestly Gemma Redgrave man she's fucking asleep when she's reading these lines <laughs> she's got some good lines in it the, Rob yeah. is giving her good lines and she's she's throwing them all away yeah. I, I mean Osgood is good now yes. that one what's her name she's got a bit of charm really about good. her yeah I've yeah. her name right now but um, 
they were okay. Okay, she did have a bit of life in her compared to some of the other unit sets. Um, there's still a lot of I am <laughs> the Brigadier's oh daughter. Like, no, they got I've away with it this heard, time. They got away with it because everyone else was saying you're Brigadier's daughter. But she's even, going, yes, I am. But even when that alien was like, oh, are you the Brigadier's daughter? I mean, I don't yeah. think that was needed. <laughs> it's, it's, it, I don't It just pushes it too much every single time. Do you know what I think the MVP was of this? What? Sadie Miller as Sarah Jane Smith. Yeah. She has refined that performance. Now, there's a few moments where I'm taken out and I can hear Sadie Miller. Just a little bit. she's got that breathless, sort of nasal Elizabeth mm. Sladen performance. I don't think she had it at the beginning. Mm. Now, after that, what was that? Classic Doctor's New Monsters one that with Tim really Trelaw. Yeah. And then this. She was bang she's on the really... money in this. And it's very interesting that the story takes place. So the Doctor, although it is the fourth doctor mm. but it's not it's actually supposedly a later doctor because the body has gone backwards so mm -hmm. they it's been set it's very interesting the way that it's set where he meets sarah jane directly after the hand of fear yeah initially that... when i heard that i was like what but the fact that the monk kidnaps her and yeah he kidnapped her because she was part of the previous adventures with the monsters they're fighting so the monsters yeah. sent her after her. It's I was still... like, okay, that logically makes very good sense. It still kind of almost spoils a little bit of school reunion. Well, it does spoil a bit of school reunion. I feel like it didn't have to be, only because in terms of when the story carries on, obviously she's re reunited with the Doctor. So for the Doctor, it's been years, but for her, it's been a few hours. Oh, Seagull's groovy. But the sort of adventure doesn't give it much time for that. I don't think you need to give it that much time. No. But what I found funny was the, the ending that we heard where the Doctor's like, okay, he's in the middle of this DJ. He's all like, right. all right, oh, Monk, then, can you drop her off? He's like, yeah, okay, see you later. So there's no, and sh you can see, she's a bit like, oh, hang on, I'm yeah, quick, can I come yeah, yeah. And that I know maybe weird. that was the point, but I felt like the Doctor, and actually Tom Baker, the way he played it, it was very dismissive, I feel. That's and he the... was very like, oh, I've got to go. There were, I was waiting for a more of an emotional moment there. But that's the problem. But I suppose you've got that in school reunion anyway, but that's why I don't think it works with her being in straight after the hand of fear. I don't know. It just, I don't know that that relationship, I don't know. It just but didn't if really this, work. If there. this story had been about Tom Baker's doctor meeting Sarah Jane yeah. Smith and just that, you would have had that yeah, moment. But, but it's because not it's part of this yeah. larger narrative, I know the writer is unfortunately in this unfortunate position where he's got to get the doctor off I know. and back in the larger narrative. But I just felt the way that Tom Baker played it as well. There wasn't there, it, it was just very much, and I was, I mean, probably in reality, it was recorded in different rooms at different times and stuff. Mm. But I don't know, there was. That connection that you're so used to having with the fourth Doctor and Sarah just uh, well, it not just that wasn't thing. there. No, 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 I don't, no. Know. I, I don't agree with there. that because I think I think you can hear Tom Baker's affection for Elizabeth Sladen. Yeah, I in know how he's playing the scenes with Sladen. I do agree with that ending. Just shoving her off with bit. the monk, I yeah, just felt that it felt was a, a bit... little bit dismissive. Didn't yeah. It? Well, the event just done now, Sarah. Fuck off back to yeah, Hillview yeah, Road. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but what I did really like was there was so much energy to this. Mm. Now, the first sort of 20 minutes, it's furious. The TARDIS is popping off here, there, and mm. everywhere. But the Doctor's chasing the monk everywhere. And everywhere the monk goes, Hong Kong and all these other places, he's like, mm. oh, for fuck's sake, are you here again? And to be honest, I didn't actually follow exactly why he was following the monk. I, I slightly might have missed that. Maybe we only heard this once, remember? Yeah, I know. We've literally oh, only heard it. But very I didn't, tired. But yeah, it might need another <laughs> listen just to get all the exact details. But it didn't really matter. No, it was following the I thought when all the regulars come together, um, even yes. Kate Lefford Stewart, then there's lots of fun exchanges and you've got these big camp melodramatic villains for mm. them to fight. And it's very it's sly, and I wouldn't say it's like a big finished classic, but as a sort of opening salvo to this well, the thing, it's it part of a bigger is, story. It's like an aperitif. It's, it's like you know when you go to a function, you know, the ambassador's function, you know. <laughs> and um, and uh, you know they offer you a little aperitif as you go in the door, and you're like, mm, oh, "What a marvelous start to the evening!" You mm. know how delightful. Yeah. That's what this was like. It was like a it was like a like a peppy little run around. Yeah. And we don't know how the other stories might tie in. You might see Sarah and the Monk again later on. Well, the Monk's like involved. That. He you says, "No, yeah, I saw so, you there when I got hit by that degeneration yeah, yeah. gun." So we know the Monk and the Monk yeah. goes, "Well, oh, I don't remember that." It must have been in my future. So you've got that, those little bits that are going to carry on. But as the adventure for this particular story was this 
these crocodile peopley things or whatever. <laughs> and is it, it a previous okay. Big Finish story? I don't think so. I, I, think, it, I think it was. I think it was. Well, with the fifth, uh, with the fourth Doctor and Sarah, no. Well, if they had any fourth Doctor and Sarah ones, no. Oh no, any of that Revenge is a side bit knock off. Unless yeah. that does come later, I wouldn't put it past Big Finish to be like, no, you need to go and buy this next adventure mm-hmm. to fit it all in. But actually, they were very much. I mean, they could have been the Silurians, to be honest. I feel. Well, Silurians were a big spaceship hanging in the air. Yeah, no, but I don't know. I just felt they had a Silurian vibe for me. I don't know why. Oh, I loved the performance but... of the man, though. He was all yeah. like, yeah. and we will defeat your doctor. Again, I felt like that was a little bit session no, three to of... everyone just getting together and having fun. Well, I keep bringing it up lately. Remember Galaxy Quest, that monster on yeah. the screen? It reminded <laughs> me of him, you know. <laughs> and we will yeah. destroy you. Yeah. So I think... It's it's a good start. It was fun. Oh, no, it was fun. It's and it's fun. It didn't hang around long enough. I f- it was over with before. It's I, very quick. Yeah, like, like ten minutes. It was like no, an hour. That's an hour. It was well, an yeah, hour. it felt like ten minutes. Yeah, yeah. It was, I, it was super sort of quick and lots going on. I want. I would want to go back and listen again now and get. I think every time you listen, you can get a bit more out of it. That's one of those. I'm ones, salivating for more Sadie Miller. I know. I think she's super good. I know, yeah. We haven't really heard that many of hers, have we? No. And do you know what? Even though um, I can hear Tom Baker's age in his voice, and of course I can, you know, he's what, 80 yeah, yeah. now, he's nearly yeah. 90. Mm. Um, he just gives so many brilliant eccentric line readings. Like, his voice is just so distinctive. Mm. I wouldn't want him to stop doing these, you know. I think he's no, really I know, fun. I know. There wasn't that much sort of... Um, Variation, I felt. What of it? In his performance. Well, no, he basically plays it as Tom Baker now. Yeah, I know, I know. There wasn't too much uh, in terms of some of the serious lines or more of the. I'd rather have Tom uh, Baker, yeah. well, listen to me, playing it eccentric, yeah, yeah, like Tom Baker, than pretending to be Tom Baker of 50 years ago. When no, was. of course. Like of course. Sophie Aldred does when she tries to pretend oh, that don't she's. Make this when about she tries to pretend Aldred. that she's 18 years old okay, again. Wrap it up, wrap it up. Is she in this? I don't know, this but we'll part, say, we'll, it doesn't matter. We've got the rest of the crew going. Ah! <laughs> in the beginning, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> She'll be in there somewhere, I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, wrap, what's, what's your round up? Absolutely confirmed. I don't know. Peter Davison and Georgia Moffat. That's the next one. And is that that's it? it? Yeah, yeah. That's we don't know nothing those. else. No, no, no. You know, we, he said a prediction, right, when we were listening. That oh, maybe yes. That it was going to go back and back, degenerate to Stephen Noonan, who still sounds a bit like a pervert, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, yes, go Well, girl. there was that little discussion about the, when the Doctor's explaining what's happening to him, going, how, and I think it's Sarah Jane that says, how far back are you going to go? And there was this little bit of a moment there, and I was like, I wonder if they'll keep going back, 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 and then at the end of this we'll get this big uh, roof Doctor moment going back and then they'll launch the Roof Doctor series yeah, on the back uh, of that. Yeah. I've, it would be a like, perfect backdoor pilot for that Roof that's, series. I think it? maybe and they'll bring, end up with that. Bring yeah. in the remarkably hot hint. Sasha Dewan as well yeah, to play a bit of this. Series, but I feel like this could be heading towards and we'll get a big thing at the end. What have they that, got? What if, by surprise, they've got Jodie? Well, yeah, something like that. I feel like you're heading towards that and it will go... A bit, I don't know, some timeless children-y thing. Do you know happen. Rob, Rob uh, who was on my podcast, Hands with a Blunt Pen Knife, <laughs> yesterday, and during the episode, so this is something that's actually going to be, you know, it's not off mic or anything, he said, my first episode. Oh. So mm. Are you right, more than one, Rob? I don't, yeah, I don't know if I've announced <laughs> any others. So anyway, I look forward to part two next month. We'll do an instant finish on that when we get it. So... But like, yeah, I think as a, a way start. of as a way of doing multiple 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 doctors um doing the sort of degeneration thing where we have an individual story for each doctor rather than just bringing them all together again, like Light at the End and Zagreus and Out of Time and Wink and how many times has that happened now? I mean it's lost its luster Science a little bit time. now, isn't it? So so having a story where each doctor's in it and is um, treat, treat to a They've good story. Yeah. celebration. And Tom Baker, like the last um, Rob Valentine, Tom Baker script we did, uh, do you remember where it was him and the Tavolian? Oh, in, yes. In Italy. Mm, yeah. It does that sort of romp really well, mm. doesn't it? Yeah. With sort of funny lines and, yeah. and, and a lot of pace. Well, the 60th has begun mm. and let's, let's continue it. Yes. Okay, and in the meantime, don't forget... Have an instant finish. Finish big? Oh, instant finish. Instant finish big. Ha, 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 ha.